Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Splitwise app. So how do you actually settle up? So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Splitwise? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to download the Splitwise app. So if we have it already downloaded or updated, we are now ready to start using it. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now in this case, for us to start using it or for us to actually uh, add a seller up section here, we first need to add our friends. In this case, go to the friends section here. And from here, just click on add more friends. And from here, we just need to enter their name, email, or phone number. Now in this case, maybe I want to add a, a name here. So let's just uh, maybe add this user here. And from here, we just need to provide the phone number or their email address. Now in this case, uh, once you provide the details, you just need to click on the check at the top right in order for you to proceed. So let's go ahead and fill out all those details. Now once you've added them, just click on the arrow that is pushing, positioned at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, what we need to do is we need to verify their contact info. So these people will be added and notified as your friend. So in this case, you will be able to start adding expenses. So in this case, let's go and click on finish. Now, once we've done that, as you can see, we now have a friend in here. In this case, what we need to do next is we now need to create some groups. So by the way, I already added a previous group here that includes this user here. But again, if you, this is the first time that you're using it, you won't be able to see anything in here. In this case, let's go to the groups here. And from here, let's go and click on start new group. Now, maybe I want to say this is going to be a uh, group for a trip. And from here, it's going to start maybe tomorrow. And it's also going to end tomorrow. In this case, once you've done that, you can go ahead and just add a group name. So for example, this is going to be a test group flight here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on done. Now in this case, we need to also basically uh, make sure that the information is correct here. So in this case, I actually adjusted the date for that flight. So in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to uh, basically create your group here. In this case, so what we need to do next is we need to start adding people or group members. So let's go ahead and click on add group member here. And let's go ahead and choose this user that we just recently added and just click on the uh, next step. In this case, we need to click on the uh, finish here. But if you want to edit the contact information, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, once you go to groups and go to uh, group, test group flight here, you should be able to see uh, the uh, section for it. In this case, when, what we need to do next is we need to add some expense. By the way, if you want to see your group members or add further group members in here, just click on the plus button and you should be able to add a new contact into this group. In this case, let's go and add an expense here. So maybe I want to say this is going to be around 100 or let's just say it's going to be a flight. So let's just add a description for it. And the amount is going to be, let's just say $1,000 here. From here, let's go ahead and click on the check at the bottom right. And you should, you should be able to uh, basically add it. In this case, it's going to immediately uh, basically uh, divide this uh, among the group itself. In this case, as you can see, uh, the following user that we just recently added actually owes you around $500. So in this case, uh, you should be able to see it, it in there. In this case, if someone actually paid you, you could just click on settle up here. And from here, just select that user. And from here, you could just basically indicate how much someone actually paid you. But for example, maybe I want to say this user actually paid me around 100 US dollars. So let's go ahead and add, indicate that and click on the check at the top right. And from here, that should be updated. And as you can see, this user now owes you only $400. And the history has been updated in here. But, but yeah, so if you go to activity here, you should be able to see what is currently happening in your account. Like if you receive something or you need to get something from the group, like for example, they owe you like $500 or whatever amount, you should be able to see it in here as well. Now, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.